The sharing of joys and sorrows is a part of our meditation and prayer practice here at UCN. It's also a time to reflect on where in our lives we sense an invitation from the Spirit. We briefly share something of a personal nature that has affected us deeply and ask for the care and prayers of the community. I'm going to invite you now to join me in letting go of our individual selves and enter into this spirit of community. Allow yourselves to let go of ordinary time and enter into this present moment, this sacred time that we're sharing here together. Sit back comfortably in your chair. Place your feet flat on the floor. Close your eyes. Let go of the tensions that have built up in your body this week. For this brief time, May you let go of your anxieties, your fears, your self-doubts, your regrets, and any distractions that have been troubling you. In a few moments, you'll hear me sound the ringing bowl, and at that time, I'll invite anyone who would care to to come forward and light a candle. The last candle, as always, is lit for joys, sorrows that remain deep, silent in our hearts and minds. I'd like to invite you to join me in singing hymn number 86, Blessed Spirit of My Life. Today's reading uh, was selected by Philip um, from an American-born ordained Buddhist nun. Her name is Pema Chidron. Feelings like disappointment, embarrassment, irritation, resentment, anger, jealousy, and fear, instead of being bad news, are actually very clear moments that teach us where it is that we're holding back. They teach us to perk up and lean in when we feel we'd rather collapse and back away. They're like messengers that show us with terrifying clarity exactly where we're stuck. This very moment is the perfect teacher and luck for us, it's with us wherever we are. <laughs> 